And here go our armies, off to do their job. Alien Federation formed. Planetary invasion commenced. Ground invasion force has seized a planet. All right, so that's another of their planets seized. Wow, they're still just not ready to do. To take peace there, huh? Uh, we can go ahead and take this out. I think I want to move the armies just back. Because there's really... Unless we're going to actually... I mean, we could fight through and invade the other's capital as well. That is an option. I wish there was like I wish in the peace deal I could uh, force them to like break their federation up or something. That'd be a pretty nice war goal. All like if I uh, I don't know if I like occupied or if I got I don't know I think it probably cost a lot of war score, but it would be pretty neat. Here goes our fleet. Man, it just the way those shields get get dropped down. I'm, I'm kind of glad we ended up getting that weaponry. And then, yeah, and then we have the energy weapons for any armor that comes after. Not busy, but do you have anything to build? Not really. <laughs> this dragon's just gonna hang out here for a minute, I guess. Um, I think we are gonna want to extend this deal. We're in a better economic position for it this time, at least. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so their fleet is around here. I just saw it. Okay, we don't want to fight that. At least, yeah, we, yeah, we don't want to fight that. At least not in a system where they have a... have a station set up. All right, so now, now they're coming, they're coming for us. So we need to go ahead and move our fleets back. A little bit. Uh, there's a 2729 fleet here, which is certainly no match for this fleet. I'm just wondering what they're gonna do. Uh, let's get our physics research chosen. Uh, let's get shield capacitor. Right now that fleet's just sort of defending that spot. Alright, so our armies are safe back at the fortress for the moment. I'm actually, just in case I'm absent-minded, let's move them back one system. Probably also need to start building stations to take care of kind of the trade value that's like all over the place. We probably have a, a lot, it's just the uh, the piracy stuff would be a little, a little obnoxious. I'd have to set up some corvettes probably to patrol. But well, Maybe that's something to look at here after a bit. Ah, now they're making a move. Uh, 
Alright, so they've taken that system back. Maybe we can trap them and force them into a fight here. How close are we getting to a... We're still at minus 21 reasons. We're gonna have to really push up their, their exhaustion, I think, before we're gonna be able to force that. We also do probably have enough. To make a claim on something. Nah, not really, not unless we want to move south. This stuff seems to be worth a, a little bit more. We would need 116 more influence, which I don't think we're going to get. I can't let them escape, so we're going to have to start this fight. Although in this system, the, their fleet doesn't seem that scary. Especially since it looks like my corvettes are taking down their shields pretty quickly. And they held out long enough. There we go. That, that battle is done. That's a rout. Alright, we did have a couple things happen while that fight was going on. One of them is being an architectural event. <laughs> an architectural. An archaeological event. I guess I'm getting that tired brain going. Uh, we have traced the wiring to a temple complex's devoted worship. Or, we have traced the wiring to a temple complex devoted to the worship of the Oracle and her clergy in the station central node. But in the Oracle's chambers, instead of a divine entity, resides an enormous AI nexus of the Oracle brand. Wires extend from its core like a nervous system throughout through the entire station. Secret communications between the inhabitants reveal there was a failed attempt at storming the temple and deactivating the nexus. It seems likely the society collapsed when it became known that their lives were not governed by divine will, but by a prophetic computer. Restarting the nexus will require extensive repairs. Okay, well that's yeah, that's a good idea. We should do that. That seems fine. All right, let's check out what, what's our what, how is our fleet doing? This one's barely damaged, so I think we can just start pushing up north. Uh, this one could use some repairs. Let's send it back to Earth for that. So we continue to push north. I almost forgot that we have a tradition to pick. Uh, I think we should start with the leader lifespan. So that's always a nice one. Although, governing ethics attraction, do we need that? We're doing pretty good there right now. We don't, have, we don't have a lot of unemployment that we're dealing with either. I mean, the occasional pop, but... We do have some buildings we can build, though. And what do we want from those buildings? I think I really want some more alloys as a, th as a thing. So let's get that going. Yeah, we'll just do a full full alloy run on those planets. Uh, oh, we also have some st stuff down here. Let's upgrade that building. Uh, let's see this one. We done a gene clinic yet? We haven't. Let's get a gene clinic in there. Uh, let's get a temple in here. And that, yeah, that unemployment will be taken care of when those buildings build, and we are set. Now we can get back to fighting this war. And we can reinforce this fleet like a bunch.
Oh yeah. Construction complete. Like nine more ships. I guess one thing I could do. Oh wow, that is expensive. Five K. Can I even get five K together? Uh, hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can. Oh, I can sell these moats and get pretty much all of it. Boom. All right, we are repaired. So one thing we could do is I'm willing to bet that there's not much resistance down here. Um, so we could take the second fleet and just start going after these these systems to drive up some more exhaustion. As I don't think there's a, I, I really doubt they put a fleet down there. And if they did, I doubt it's a sizable one. At least I would hope they wouldn't. That would, that would seem kind of silly. There's no one bordering them down there. This planet, I mean, it's not, this planet can't be that important, can Construction it? Complete. Well, there's two planets, so maybe. But it's only a 7 pop and a, well, and a 16. So I don't know. It doesn't seem... I mean, not, I mean, when you compare that to, like, Earth, for example... Star system charted. Which has 46, you know, I, I would imagine it's lower on the defense priority list, is all I'm saying. And we've seen how well they defended that. Construction complete. Alright, yeah, cool guy. Uh, I'll think about that. Ah, oh, looks like... We were able to get rid of the branch office. Because our cool police station thing did the thing job it was supposed to do. Alright, so we're gonna need to start thinking about moving our army up. I think we are going to invade this world. We also have quite a bit more influence now. Do we have enough to make another claim? We need 67. I would I would like to make a claim here since it's another planet. And we'd have this like nice little area here that we'd, we had taken from them. But I don't know if we're going to get enough... In I don't know if we're going to get that influence in time. Maybe. I mean, the warp still has some legs left in it. Especially since... Well, no, we're at settled status quo at this point. So anything after here is kind of bonus points. So we could we could roll it out long enough. Oh, we have a fight. Let's let's get him. This is going to be a, an absolute massacre. Construction complete. Yeah, it's that fleet down there. Let's go, since we have a path, let's go ahead and send this fleet up here. Then send our fleet in. I don't think we're gonna have any trouble with it.
I guess, though, if we can't get that planet, we can also maybe make some smaller types of claims. But, I don't know, 150 is a lot for a system. We could also just wait, like, 12 months and get and get this planet, which, I don't know, is this planet worth, worth the wait? I mean, other than it has a cool name. It's an ocean world. It's got 28 pops, like, it's not a... It's, not, it's no chump. Of course, I may I may be tempted to spin it into a vassal in order to mate, so I don't have to worry about like the giant amounts of unrest and stuff. Construction complete. Or we can just put armies on it, I guess, and do like the edicts or whatever. Oh, there goes their federation fleet. And the War station. Declared. I guess I'm a, little, I'm a little disappointed in, uh, that they, oh, they must have surrendered. Wait, didn't I have a, I thought I had a claim on Seoul. Did I not make that claim? I never made that claim. That's fantastic. Well, I'm dumb. Uh, okay, well, I've cut Soul off now from the rest of the Empire. Um, but that's okay. Uh, once the truce is over, we can make a go at just vassalizing them. I really would rather go down that path anyway. Uh, reason being is that then I don't have to manage uh, a ton of unrest right off the bat because ba of like you fought a recent war and you're occupying them. Uh, instead, you know, we vassalize them, and then once enough time has passed, we'll, integ we'll integrate them. And yeah, it takes longer to get the direct benefit, but um, less likely for systems to break away and stuff. So I'll move our, fleets, our fleet back. I will say our, our fleets have really been performing admirably. And I think with the end of that war, um, I think it's time for us to call an end to this particular stream. Uh, it has been great playing along, playing this game and going on this journey along with you all. Thank you all for tuning in, uh, and I will hope to see you again next week when we do this again. So this is again Ryan with CRS Labs, and I will see you again next time. Catch you later!